This is the Vectoral Association, or V-A-C-T-E-R-L Association. This is notably not a syndrome. It's a constellation of congenital abnormalities with no single underlying pathophysiologic mechanism and no specific gene or chromosomal cause. So it's not considered a syndrome. It's called an association. The triggers, there's likely a two-hit development dysfunction model. This could be a combination of maternal diabetes, infertility treatment, maternal statin use, or maternal lead exposure. Here's what the actual acronym stands for. The V is for vertebral anomalies. This is in 60 to 80% of patients. This could be rib anomalies, uh, spontaneous vertebral fusions, hemivertebrae, or butterfly vertebrae. A is for anal anomalies. This is in 55 to 90% of patients. They can have an imperforate anus, anal stenosis. The C is for cardiac problems. 40 to 80% of patients have cardiac problems. They range from subtle anatomic defects to severe um, cyanotic congenital heart lesions. The TE is tracheoesophageal abnormalities, 50 to 80%. The most common is esophageal atresia with a distal uh, tracheoesophageal fistula, and it often requires surgery within the first few days of life. This can cause feeding and respiratory challenges. R is for renal in 50 to 80% of patients. They can have cystic or dysplastic kidneys with renal agenesis, horseshoe kidney, or a vesico-ureteral reflux, and it tends to be on the same side as the limb abnormalities. That brings us to L for limb abnormalities. That's what you see in the background here. This is in 40 to 50% of patients. Um, they can, for instance, get thumb aplasia, hypoplasia, polydactyly, uh, radial, radial aplasia as well. The presence of a single vertebral artery is often the earliest associated anomaly, and limb abnormalities are often the key indicator that you notice first that then prompts you to investigate the rest of these. So immediate surveillance for the other anomalies um, is necessary when one is detected. And if you're going to take a patient for surgery, you should immediately screen them for congenital heart defects because that would be a major thing to find out before a surgery.